Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Dwayne Vaughn and we're here with a fairly interesting case. Uh, this is little Elias. Uh, he is a three-year-old little boy who started getting some spots. Uh, so that would be a, almost a week now. Um, and they started uh, mostly on his hand, right? I think the first uh, one was on your hand. Oh, yep, there you go. And then uh, they developed kind of all over sporadically, some on his legs and feet. And then, are there any, there was one on your tummy. Yeah, there's one on your tummy there. Yep. Are there any other ones? Did you see any other little spots? There's one right over your eye there. Um, so we, we took a look at this earlier. They all started out just kind of as these little red spots, almost looked like mosquito bites. And because it was the hand, the first thought was that this may be hand, foot, mouth disease. But he has absolutely nothing in the mouth and there's not much on the feet, a few ones here and there, and it doesn't really have the classic appearance of uh, hand, foot, and mouth disease. But if you look at it, they look like little vesicles. Vesicles are fluid-filled, um, blister-appearing uh, lesions, and then they, they have kind of a uh, red bottom. And there's one area here where it's, uh, the um, blister is kind of uh, popped and umbilicated, as we call it. And that is what made us think that this is probably a case of chickenpox. Now, little Elias has been vaccinated against chickenpox. He got his first vaccine at age one. Um, we do not give the second vaccine until age four to five. So he hasn't been vaccinated twice like older um, kids. But it, it, because he's been vaccinated, it can show itself in very unusual ways. Um, like this. You can usually when you get chicken pox, it's pretty bad. When you've been vaccinated, it's fairly mild, less than 50 little spots, and it can show up pretty much anywhere. He uh, actually has been acting normally. Uh, he's not showing any of the malaise or fatigue that we normally see. He has not had a fever, um, but uh, we're pretty sure that this is a case of chicken pox. And um, you may have seen uh, those who are really interested in YouTube videos, seen a similar uh, video recently on Dr. Paul's uh, channel. And we'll give you a link in the um, description below where you can uh, see that as well. But uh, we think that's what it is. Um, typically for chicken pox, uh, the exposure is approximately 14 days before you see any of the spots. So we don't know where he got it from. Um, he is still considered contagious until all of these little uh, pox scab over. And you can see the one on the hand here is actually starting to do that, but some of the other ones are not yet to that stage. Um, this one's starting to get a little bit of the scabbing there. So um, we have to wait till they're all scabbed over. Um, chicken pox is contagious through saliva and any secretions, as well as skin-to-skin -skin contact. Um, so he is staying home from school. He did not go to church, um, and we are kind of isolating him. Um, he's still acting normal though, and the um, fun little boy that he is. I'm gonna say hi. <laughs> Are you gonna be shy? He can be shy sometimes. Um, so this is actually my little boy. Elias is my son. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if anyone uh, has any comments below, um, please. Uh, do you like the microphone? Do you wanna say anything on the microphone? No? Okay. Uh, any comments, suggestions uh, about what you guys want to see in the future, um, and say hi to Elias. I'm sure uh, he will enjoy his many fans out there. So uh, we'll see you next time.